So we we'll try to understand the free body diagram of a block sliding up the inclined plane. So as the motion is up the plane, suppose this effort is applied in this direction, and as the motion is up the plane, the frictional force will act in the opposite direction. So it is in the downward direction, and frictional force is given by mu r. Suppose the inclined plane is making an angle of alpha. With the horizontal, as we know that weight will always act vertically in the downward direction. It will have two components. One is this component, which is perpendicular to the plane. Another one is parallel to the plane. If this angle is alpha, this angle is also alpha, and therefore this component is mg cos alpha, and opposite component is mg sin alpha. normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface of contact so if this is the surface the normal reaction will be always perpendicular to this particular surface now suppose we resolve this along this this is the x axis and this is the y axis so this is the positive x axis and this is the positive y axis so forces along positive x axis are p this is the frictional forces along negative x axis and this mg sin alpha that component is also along negative x axis whereas this r is in upward direction it is along the positive y axis and mg cos alpha is along the negative y axis so we'll apply the conditions of equilibrium assuming that this is x axis is nothing but is inclined plane is x axis and perpendicular to that is nothing but the y axis now first condition is summation of fx is equal to zero so p is positive because it is along the positive y axis as already we have seen mu r is negative because it is along negative x axis and mg sin alpha is also negative because it is also along the negative x axis and that is equal to zero similarly applying the another condition of equilibrium that is summation of fy is equal to zero so this along positive direction this is only normal reaction is there which is along the positive y direction so that is positive so r is positive whereas this mg cos alpha is along the negative y direction so minus mg cos alpha is equal to zero. so in this way we can we can apply the conditions of equilibrium to the resolved forces